It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. Today we're going to do Proposition 25. Changes legislative vote requirement to pass budget and budget related legislation from two thirds to a simple majority. Retains two thirds vote requirement for taxes. Initiative constitutional amendment. Legislature permanently forfeits daily salary and expenses until budget bill passes. Fiscal impact. In some years, the contents of the state budget could be changed due to the lower legislative vote requirement in this measure. The extent of changes would depend on the legislature's future actions. Cambia el requisito de voto legislativo para aprobar el presupuesto y legislación relacionada con el presupuesto de las dos terceras partes a una mayoría simple. Mantiene el requisito de las dos terceras partes del voto para impuestos. Enmienda constitucional por iniciativa. La legislatura pierde permanentemente salario, dia salario diario y gastos hasta que aprueba el proyecto de ley presupuestaria. Impacto fiscal. En algunos años el contenido del presupuesto del Estado podría cambiar a causa del requisito de voto legislativo, legislativo reducido de esta medida. El alcance de los cambios dependería de los actos futuros de la legislatura. This one is my favorite proposition. Basically, it's saying like 47 or so other states, 46 other states I, th I think it is, it would just take a majority to pass the state budget, not two-thirds. You've seen in the U.S. Senate where even having 59 votes isn't enough because the Republicans are like, we're going to filibuster. It only happened 24 times in the 1800s when we did unimportant things like and slavery and secession, which were not filibustered, by the way. But, we're going to filibuster all the time now, because the shit going on now, that's important. Oh, yes. Well, you can't filibuster the state Senate, state assembly. But, to pass a state budget, the most important thing that they do, it's the one thing that requires a two-thirds majority. Now, that to me is not a democracy. It's not totalitarianism. Totalitarianism would need 100% and probably one person making the decision. I guess that would be authoritarian. But, regardless... Democracy is majority rules, and if you have one vote less than two-thirds, 26 out of 40 or whatever it is, and you can't get shit done, that's too much power for the 14. They're the ones that really control what's going on. Abel Maldonado, man, he saved people's asses many times. So, all Prop 25 does is says, we're going to do like a lot of other states, and we're going to make it a simple majority. The two things about that have happened in politics since I was born that I like the least... Not Prop 13, that's number three. Number two is this, two-thirds of majority, which comes from Prop 13. So I suppose really Prop 13 is number two. Number one is term limits. Don't get me started on term limits. Not democratic if you can't let someone who's not a felon. You can even make the case that a felon should be able to run for office. I would be okay with that. It's a true democracy. If you guys want to vote for Charles Manson for president, I don't want to get in the way of that. And of course, one of the other things is they won't get paid. It doesn't matter. You don't really need to pay lawmakers anyway. They make all their money from corporate bribes anyway. And no, I'm not kidding. So denying them the pay, that was to help the proposition pass if it passes. It looks like it's going to pass. I hope it's going to pass. I'm voting yes on it. I could have a complete Republican sweep into the office and every other proposition go the way I don't want. But if 25 passes, oh yes. Oh, yes. However, I'll tell you right now, there's going to be shit on the ballot that's going to reverse it if it passes. Probably in either the spring or the fall next year. Because Republicans do not like this. And they will pick an election that Democrats will not turn out for, which is pretty much every election but the presidential one. And they will find a way to get it passed. It's going to be just like gay marriage and marijuana. It's going to be on every ballot. And it's just going to change back and forth and back and forth until all the old white people die, which we're getting there, but we're not there yet. So, hooray for Prop 25. I'm voting yes on it. I really hope you do, too, because think about a 100-day late budget. Think about the people that you know that either work for the government or have to deal with the government because they collect checks for because they're hurt, disabled, sick, old. Uh, maybe they, you needed to go to the DMV and they were closed because of something stupid and you didn't know and you took time off work and you drove all the way down there and you said, wow, I got the best parking space ever at the DMV, wow! And then you go and the door's locked 
There's a sign on the door that says furlough day, and they probably spelled furlough wrong because it's a hard word to spell. Think about the paving work on your local street that stopped on July 1st because suddenly there was no more money for it. That's slightly uh, sensationalist because that stuff is generally federal and that type of project was very rarely interrupted because of the state budget. But I'm trying to fear monger, damn it. Man, some people are still good at fear mongering. I just can't do it. I can't even scare my cat. There's not going to be any more food, Savannah. Doesn't work. That's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.